Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I'm bringing you on this cold, rainy New York City night, I'm bringing you some Chinese curry, some Chinese uh, chicken curry with mixed vegetables, a big old um, egg roll on a bed of white rice that has a little bit of soy sauce on it so frito lovers how are you it's been like two or three weeks how are you guys i've missed you guys i have been busy first and foremost why haven't i posted because of this do you see that super gross i know you're eating i'm sorry just one more time super gross see the scars on my hand I had on Friday, March 3rd, I had a trigger finger release surgery. Trigger finger is a condition in which there's this inflammation in your tendons and it causes your fingers to stick like this. You guys know that I've, I've dealt with trigger finger for a while and I finally got the surgery on my left hand, three incisions, uh, Friday, March 3rd, and then this... Thursday passed, which was, I believe, the 23rd, 20 days later, I got my stitches taken off. My hand is still not that good. It hurts a little bit. And I, I have to exercise it. I have to use it. And you guys know my mukbang setup. I hold my plate with my left hand. I eat with my right. Actually, even hold, holding it like this right now is kind of ouchy, you guys. This might be a little, <laughs> a little bit of a fast video. Let me eat. Mmm. Trigger finger release surgery. I have been primarily relying solely on my right hand for weeks now. Mm. Chinese curry is its own animal. It doesn't taste like Indian curry. It doesn't taste like Caribbean curry. It's somewhere in the middle. It's milder, but it also just tastes so flavorful and so good. Oh, okay. So, and mixed vegetables and chicken. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So, Frito lovers, I've been healing from this surgery. Unfortunately, trigger finger in my case it is a result of my diabetes i had a rough year last year with everything that happened my blood sugar wasn't exactly the where it needed to be i'm <clears throat> still struck <clears throat> excuse me as i choke on camera i'm still struggling but i i'm having better days i got the trigger finger release as a way of healing myself from this condition, which, and just to let you know, on my right hand, this is my right hand, these two fingers have it. This finger, my pointer finger, is really starting to get deformed. My middle finger is already slightly deformed. They don't lock as hard as the other fingers did, but they do lock, and it can be kind of painful. And on days like today, when it's cold and rainy, I feel it. It's, it's somewhat related to arthritis to a degree because it has to do with the inflammation of tendons and ligaments and all that. But um, tons of people get trigger finger that are not diabetic. People who are musicians, carpenters, construction workers, anyone that works with their fingers all the time, who uses their hands. Sometimes the pain manifests itself and you think manifests manifests in this way where you think it might be carpal tunnel, but it's not. Ah, oh, or arthritis, and it's related to arthritis, but not exactly. So, so Frito Lovers, it was hard for, long story short, it was hard for me to hold the plate this way. Kind of hard right now, but I have to do it. I have to start getting used to doing things because this Friday, which will be the 31st, I'm being evaluated for occupational therapy. 
I can wiggle my fingers and I can do certain things, but I need occupational therapy. I got to relearn how to use this hand uh, with these tendons altered the way they have been surgically. So Frito Lovers, it's my first major surgery. If you don't count dental work, if dental work is not a part of the equation, then this is my first major surgery. They had to knock me out and everything. They said that they were going to keep me slightly sedated and awake. And I really fought against that. And when they put me on the operating table and they started prepping me and I started kind of freaking out and hyperventilating, they decided let's knock them the F out. Like, let's just put them under. Woke up in the recovery room with my beautiful bear bear, David. According to David, I was mumbling and it took me a long time to get out from under anesthesia. I was uh, all over the place talking about talking nonsense and reacting to things that weren't there and According to David, flirting with all with uh, all the nurses of all genders. <laughs> I was out of my mind. Um, but <clears throat> I'm struggling with it, but I'm dealing with it. So I'm doing well, Sofrito lovers. Um. I only needed like two days off of work, my surgery day, and then, which was on a Friday, and then I took that Monday off, but I was back to work on Tuesday. My hand, my hand was all bandaged up, but I was told by the doctors, they were like, don't take too much time off. You got to start living your life. This is not major. One of the doctors was like, this is the hand version. Trigger, trigger finger release surgery is like the hand version of getting your tooth pulled. It's not that big of a deal, even though it is, but to them, it's not that big of a deal. For someone who has to have, who's never had major surgery, never been under that long, and has to walk around with a bandaged hand, it was a lot. Trust me, it was a lot. Mm. So, Frito lovers, the drama has not subsided. Life is full of a lot of interesting turns, twists and turns, and as I am recovering from my surgery, last week, on Tuesday night, my mom fell down at her, one of her friend's homes and broke her hip. So, Tuesday night, mom breaks her hip. I had to take Wednesday off to be with her in the hospital with my brother and my cousin who we all three were taking, you know, we were all taking care of her in the hospital, just being there. My sister is, was away at the Dominican Republic. She was coming back on Saturday, which she did. So my mom broke her hip. Luckily, According to the doctors, my mother's break was in one of the best places a person can ever have a hip break because it's easier to recover, not as painful, blah, 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 from their perspective. So my mom is in the hospital. I take Wednesday off. I had already planned to take Thursday off to get my stitches out. So on Thursday, went and got my stitches out then went uptown to Harlem where my, where my mom is. So, all the while I'm taking care of myself and now I have to help take care of my mom. It's a lot. Luckily, my sister's back from the Dominican Republic. She was there um, vacationing with my brother-in-law who's from the Dominican Republic. So, so you know, it's kind of weird. It's a little bit triggering because I spent so much time in the hospital last year. And now, this year, I've been in the hospital. My mom is in the hospital.
Así es la vida. Así es la vida. That's life. You know, my mom has reached a stage in her life where she no longer takes care of us. We take care of her. And she's a priority now. So it, it's a lot. Um, and my mom is, uh, as of today, I didn't get to see my mom today because I was working. Uh, but as of sometime today, maybe even tomorrow, she's going to be moved to a rehabilitation center in the Upper East Side. Oh, I don't think I made this clear. My mom broke her leg on Tuesday night, not her leg, her hip, Tuesday night. Wednesday morning, they put her through a surgery. They put a nail in her leg in order to, you know, facilitate the healing of, of the hip. It's kind of like the hip and femur area. It's, it's, again, funny enough, the doctors were like, this is one of the best places someone can get a break like this because... It's not going to be that painful, according to them. They don't feel the pain, but they say, my mom will disagree. She's in pain. You know. And, you know, they did the surgery on Wednesday. On Thursday, we were trying to have her stand up and walk a little bit and move around. They don't play. They, they try to throw them into, they try to throw them into rehab as soon as possible. They say that it's not good for them to stay laying down for too long. That it's painful and it may be painful and discomforting and a little jarring, but they need the old ladies to get up and start moving around as soon as possible. They want to save her mobility. And the more she's on her ass, laying on her back, the less she's moving around, the longer this process becomes. Yep. Ben Ramos mukbang. All this rice came down here. <laughs> so frito lovers, so that is life. Drama, 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 drama. Lots of health lots of health related stuff. But my mom starts rehab this week. I start rehab this week. We're all on our way towards recovery. And I'm glad we're able to touch base like this, you guys. Um, I know some people were like, oh, you left your channel for TikTok. No, I'm enjoying TikTok. TikTok is fun. TikTok commercial. You can find me at at Sofrito IMS. So at Sofrito IMS. And I mean, folks, I haven't I haven't posted to TikTok in a couple of days either. So I'm um, I'm just disappointing everyone in every on every platform. <laughs> How are excuse me? Burping on the mukbang. Very professional. How are all of you? I hope all of you are doing well, Sofrito lovers. You know, I don't want it all to be doom and gloom. And it's not all doom and gloom. I am about to go on vacation. My first vacation in a very long time, in about two weeks. Two weeks from today, actually. Two weeks from today, August, 10, uh, August April 10th, I will be going to Boston for a couple of days uh, to hang out, run around the city, see my oldest nephew, Mm. There's a big old egg roll. See my oldest nephew run around Boston. I haven't been to Boston in years. More than 15 years, haven't been to Boston. When I travel in the East Coast, I tend to stay within the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, 
Washington, D.C., Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta's more the south. It's not really the east coast, but I stay. Oh, in California when I have to go visit my family in Cali. You know, but I don't go up that. I, I rarely go up higher into the whole, you know, New England area. And um, David and I feel like it's going to be spring break. I have the time off. I don't want to go anywhere far or expensive. I want to spend a couple of days in Boston, run around, eat, see friends, see my nephew. I have some old friends in Boston I haven't seen in a while. We stay in contact via Facebook and all that good stuff. Now I'm like, hey, going to be around. Let's see each other face to face. If anything, some of these Bostonian friends of mine are, are in pure shock because they come to New York far more often than I ever go to Boston. So they're probably going to be shocked that I'm going to be within the city limits. But um, just going to go and have some fun, Sofrito lovers. I think I deserve it. I haven't been out of the city in a very long time. You know, we were thinking Washington, D.C. too, but we've done D.C. to death. David and I both like D.C. But we haven't, he hasn't been to Boston, I think, longer than I have. So we're going to go enjoy the spring break in Boston and then three or four days and then come back to New York for a staycation. I am super down. I love it. Can't wait to do it. Can't wait not to be at work. Mm. But um, this is life right now, Sofrito lovers. Hopefully, and um, the surgery, some of you, I think I digress, but the surgery on the right hand for these two fingers, this is not gonna happen probably until the fall or even winter of 2024. I gotta get this nonsense all dealt with before I do anything here. And after my left hand is good, I wanna spend some time enjoying the good left hand and not rushing into having my most dominant hand be in a cast not in the cast, but, you know, bandaged up really tight. And I'm not looking forward to this one. I've already been through it, but losing my dominant hand is going to be rough. I'm going to have to learn how to do everything on the left side. But Sofrito Lovers, you know, good things are on the horizon. Um, I have threatened you guys with this before. And it hasn't ever come to fruition, but now the family is getting together and we are dealing with another issue of Frankie's estate, which is the spreading of his ashes. And this summer I will be returning to Puerto Rico to spread Frankie's ashes. Um, I haven't been to Puerto Rico in whoo, 2006. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been back in a really long time. And um we're going the family, Frankie's godson, nephew, godson nephew, his son, his daughter and I will be going sometime. We're looking at either July 15th or the 22nd.
let me repeat that and make sure that you understand either the weekend of July 15th or the 22nd, not the 15th to the 22nd. I, I think I might have made that sound a little unclear. Either one of those weekends. My family is staying longer. I cannot. So. So. A lot of good stuff. A lot of travel this year. I know I have two trips and I'm saying lots of travel, but I think for the last two years, I, the fact that I haven't traveled anything anywhere, all of a sudden, you know, I'm out. It's going to be interesting. So, Frito lovers, my hand hurts. <laughs> So, Frito lovers, um, I promise that things are going to be getting better for all of us. And I will be on this channel a little bit more. I love you guys. Como siempre, go out there. Go have some culinary adventures. Go have fun. Go taste for yourself. I'll finish this off camera. Como siempre, mucho, mucho amor. Oh, my God, my hand hurts. Ow. <laughs>